Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been making waves in the gaming world, Xbox Game Pass, and its recent price hike. But don't worry, there's a silver lining involving Activision Blizzard games that might just soften the blow. Let's get into it. So if you haven't heard, Xbox Game Pass recently increased its subscription prices. This news hit a lot of us hard, especially those who have enjoyed the service's incredible value. For $14.99 a month on console and $9.99 a month on PC, we've had access to a massive library of games, including day one releases from both first and third party developers. But with the new price hike, many gamers are wondering if it's still worth it. Now here's where things get interesting. Microsoft's acquisition of Activision Blizzard has been a major headline in the gaming industry, and this could be the key to making the price hike more palatable. How you ask? Well, let's talk about the potential addition of Activision Blizzard's massive library of games to the Game Pass lineup. Imagine having access to the entire Call of Duty franchise, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, and even classic hits like StarCraft and Diablo all included in your Game Pass subscription. This would be a game changer, adding immense value to the service and making that price increase feel like a worthwhile investment. So far, we know that Call of Duty Black Ops 6 will be a day one Game Pass title. But what if Microsoft goes all out and adds the entire back catalog of Activision Blizzard games? Titles like Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, which despite being published by Activision is a From Software game, would be incredible additions. This could bring back a lot of the excitement and value that gamers felt was lost with the price hike. Let's not forget the potential for future releases. With Activision Blizzard's renowned lineup of upcoming games, Game Pass could continue to offer day one access to some of the biggest titles in the industry. This would keep the service fresh and continuously appealing to both new and existing subscribers. Of course, there's always the concern about whether Microsoft will follow through and how soon we'll see these games added to the service. But if they do, it could definitely soften the blow of the price increase and keep Xbox Game Pass at the top of the game subscription services. So, what do you think? Will Activision Blizzard games be enough to make up for the Xbox Game Pass price hike? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and updates from Joystick News. Until next time, happy gaming!